Hello my tiny tots. How are you all? Okay, welcome back to your learning class. I am here with your subject English. And in English what we will do? Yes, we will do writing. So today we will learn one more small alphabet. Okay, so are you all ready for that? Okay, today we will learn how to write letter P. But which P? Small P. Okay, you all know right how to write capital P. It is same but it is small in size this is small p so today we will learn how to write letter small p but before that let's revise some of the alphabet that we have already learned okay let's start so children previously we have revised letter small a b c and d now tell me after d which letter comes yes it comes letter E. So let's write letter E. For writing letter E, first we will draw sl little slipping line, then we will make a curve like this. Okay, this is small e. Which letter it is? Small e. After E, A, B, C, D, E, F. Very good. For writing letter F, we will start from red line. Okay. We will make little curve and we will draw a standing line to second blue line, right? Then we will draw a small slipping line on the first blue line. This is letter F. E, F, after F, G. So here we will write letter G. For writing letter G, first we will draw a semicircle, then we will Slowly, slowly go on top to first blue line and we'll make standing line till red line and little curve inside. This is small g. E, F, G. After G, H. Very good. But which letter? Small h. For writing letter small h, we will draw standing line from red line to second blue line and we will go back to first blue line and we will make a loop or curve. This is small h. E, F, G, H. So like this way you have to practice them every day. Okay. So you will learn it nicely. Okay. Now we will learn how to write letter small p. What we will do first? Yes, we will see the pictures. You all know, right? What are the pictures related to letter P? Okay, let's revise them. Again, P for which bird is this? Parrot. P for parrot. See how gracefully it is walking? P for parrot. In GK, you must have learned, right? Which bird likes to eat green chili? Yes, parrot likes, right? So, P for parrot. Here are the pictures of parrot. Now, next one is P for which bird is this? Yes, tell me. You must have seen in your picture dictionary, right? Which one is our national bird? Yes, peacock is our national bird. So, let's see more pictures. P for peacock. P for peacock. See how beautiful it is. P for peacock. And what is the spelling? P E A C O C K. Peacock. P for peacock. Next is P for. See what are these? Yes, colorful pencils. P for pencil. Let's see the more pictures. P for pencil. Yes. See, this hand is writing with pencil. P for pencil. Now, let's see the spelling. P E N C I L. Pencil. P for pencil. Now, P for which bird is this? Yes, pigeon. P for pigeon. P for, see, here three pigeons are there. They are talking or singing? Yes, three pigeons are talking together. See, 
this pigeon is flying p for pigeon p i g e o n pigeon p for pigeon next is p for which animal is this penguin very good p for penguin see this penguin is dancing p for penguin see these are the pictures of penguin it lives in the cold region right see how beautiful they are dancing p for pigeon now let's see the spelling p e n g u i n penguin p for penguin so children we have seen the pictures related to letter p uh, now let's see how to write letter p small p okay for writing letter small p first we will draw standing line okay then slowly 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 we will go back on the same line and we'll make a semi circle okay this is letter small p right first you have to draw standing line and you have to go back on the same line till the top then you have to make a semi circle this is letter p small p okay it is same to the capital but the method of writing is little different okay this is small p in capital letter we were making standing line then we were lifting our pencil and we will drawing a curve like this but here you don't have to lift your pencil you have to write it continuously see by going back on the same line and have to make little curve or semi circle but in small p you have to draw standing line and you have to go back to the top and have to make a semi circle okay you don't have to lift your pencil this is small p now let's trace letter small p okay so for tracing letter p first we will draw standing line on given dotted line go back on the same line you have to write it very carefully okay see like this way you have to make a semi circle or curve standing line and go back on the same line slowly slowly you have to move your pencil and you have to move your pencil on given dotted line only okay otherwise it will not look nice see like this way you have to first trace out letter small p see children you have to draw standing line properly and you have to go back on the same line don't make loop like this see here you can see a loop and this is wrong one you have to go back on the same line slowly 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 if you will do your work then it will look very nice see slowly 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 you move your pencil on given dotted line like this way you have to first trace letter p okay small p now let's see how to write letter small p in four lines okay here you have to be little careful because in capital letters we were starting from red line but here we have to start from first blue line okay for writing letter small p we will start from first blue line and we will go down to the red line which red line down red line okay and we'll go back on the same line to the first blue line and we will make a semi circle within two blue lines only okay so be careful and you have to write it by following the lines see standing line go back on the same line and make semi circle within two blue lines how simple be careful you have to go back on the same line you cannot make loop like this okay see this is 
wrong one you have to go back on the same line stunning line go back on the same line and make a cow small p you cannot write p like this see this is capital one so if you will write like this here then i will put wrong because we are writing small letters and if you will write like this then also it will be wrong okay because lines are not followed so this one is correct you have to start from first blue line to red line okay this is correct one so follow all the lines and write letter p nicely children did you all get how to write letter small p okay now let's revise all the pictures that we have seen related to letter p which bird is this pigeon p for pigeon p for parrot p for peacock p for pencil p for penguin p for pigeon p for parrot p for peacock p for pencil and p for penguin so remember all the pictures related to letter p because whenever you will be asked to make the picture with the alphabet that time you must be knowing right that which picture is related to which letter so children revise letter p and other letters that we have already learned and practice them nicely and send me in homework thank you